far as I know, the first state summit following the president's summit, and I think that's a great credit to your governor and to the state of Kansas to be, to, to be doing that. At least your timing's good. And I would suggest three things. Number one, find out what's really going on, because I don't think most people know what's going on in schools, how children are growing up, or what's really going on in the world. Number two, I want to suggest that you create in Kansas a brand new American school. Brand new American school. And number three, I want to suggest that when you do that, you help that new school develop some new goals and new report cards for itself. I would go down to the maternity ward of the local hospital or whatever you call the part of the hospital where the nurses are who are there when the babies are born and find out how many babies are born out of wedlock, how many babies are born with single parents, just so you know that. I would think the brand new American school would be year round, open from six to six. Second characteristic might be that these schools will serve children from age three months old to age 18. That may be a shocking thought to you, but if you were to do an inventory of every baby in your community and think about what the needs of those babies uh, were uh, for the next uh, four or five years, you might see that those needs might not be served any other way. They have to be served in some way and maybe around the school. Or if you studied a little more, you might go back and think the school might even need to serve the pregnant mother of the baby in terms of prenatal health care. Teams of teachers. Albert Chanker suggested that maybe there ought to be a team of teachers attached to a child from the day that child arrives in the school to stay with that child all the way to age to, to the eighth grade. All this would mean there would have to be a very professional core of teachers, wouldn't it? They'd have to be very, very good because they would be dealing with lots of volunteers. Man, we have a big national service feeling in America today. Why aren't those people working in schools? Well, one reason is it's hard to handle volunteers. So this team of highly trained principals and teachers would have to have career ladders. They would need to be master teachers. They would need to be paid fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 a year to create a brand new American school in every state capital. The great advantage of that would be there wouldn't be all these arguments about whether to do this program or that program or which one to do first. You wouldn't do any of them. You would create one school and you'd give the responsibility to one person who would form one team and you give them one year or so and if they succeeded then all the rest of us would want to be in that school too, wouldn't we? And so I think our school should be open 12, 13, 14 hours a day. So it's not just lengthening. So eight to eight or something like that. Uh, yes, and let me tell you what. Not just lengthening, obviously, the school day, but a wide variety of after-school activities. At home, we attached healthcare clinics to about two dozen of our schools, where schools truly become the centers of the community. Great things happen. So I think we need the, the schools open much longer hours. So like keep them open uh, at so twelve hours a day, twelve months a year. Yes, twelve hours a day, twelve months a year. And uh, and I would go to six or seven days a week, not just Monday through Friday. Seven days a week. Schools so the school be becomes a center of community it's life. Where the school becomes a center of community life, great things are going to happen for those families and great things okay, are going to happen to those children. Then tell me why that hasn't happened before. And what I, I came to understand as I got older, that literally the difference between those who lived and did well and those who died was education. I didn't have one friend who made it out and went to college who ended up getting killed. The students that dropped out, the students that didn't have the opportunity, they didn't make it. They literally didn't make it. And so this battle is about more than education. This is a battle for social justice. And that when we give those opportunities and when we stay with children, they can go on to be the Hollywood movie stars and the brain surgeons and the IBM leaders and the great educators. And when we don't, the consequences are absolutely devastating.